I know this is no excuse for the locker room, but you look around and there's no Paul Millsap. I know that's a change in late. I mean, how big did it affect you guys? We have to play basketball. Somebody goes down, somebody got to step up. Double digit deficit at the halftime. We've seen that before. So, what are you guys thinking at halftime and talking amongst yourself and what you have to make changes on? That's how we start the game. Mm -hmm. You know, get to that confidence from the beginning. Mm -hmm. They're going to continue to play that way. And, you know, we give ourselves a hold. Did a good job of closing all of them. And uh, in a sense, I mean, you guys start this night two and a half games out of fourth place in the East. They start the night two and a half games out of the playoffs. So you knew they were coming with some some effort with what they were trying. It's to do. not about them. It's about us. Terrible, terrible. Game. And what will your conversations be like amongst the players at practice tomorrow? Well, I mean, if we get it together, we're gonna be going home early. Mm -hmm. It's plain and simple. I know the most important thing to you is the fact that we lost the game. But one of the other plays in this game is you get another technical on what appeared to be a, a, a duplicate call. Well, I mean, I just think it was, it was a BS, to be honest with you. You know, I can't sit up here and sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, player taunting. He hit somebody in the chest. It shouldn't be even reviewed. It should be going down the next play and get ready play defense, but instead, you know, it was reviewed and said, I got, I hit him in the face. You go look at the replay, it was nowhere near his face, you know, and you know, I don't like it, you know, um, everybody should be treated the same way on the floor, no matter how strong you are, big you are, how small you are, whatever it is, like, it's the NBA, you know, there's no boys allowed, we all grown men out there, you know, be able to play like that. Once was apparent you didn't hit him in the face. What was the conversation from the refs as far he as why said, you had to take He it? said if you would have hit him in the face, then it would have been some more. I said I didn't hit him in the face, you know. So I don't know. It didn't make sense to me. I mean, you know, uh, he did a good job of acting it out. You know, I think uh, he should find a way to make it to Hollywood. Um, or when they're doing films in Atlanta now, so you know, you can find a good film out here to do some acting. That's what it was. My final question for you. I know it's hard to pull positives after a tough loss like this. Personally, so the fields in for Paul in the lineup. What about the offensive game? He can play. You know, he can just play basketball. He knows he reads the game well. You know, he has a good feel for the game. And uh, he's a great touch on the ball. He's a good player. And I've always you know, liked him from uh, the first day he came into the NBA. I just ask you. It's the second time they've hit you that hostile lot of things. Is that part getting frustrating? I mean, it's always frustrating. You know, uh, if I'm on one end, somebody hacks me, and they say it's a regular foul, and I come on the other end, you know, I barely hit somebody. And it's just reviewed, it's looked at, you know, as though I was trying to, you know, you know, hurt a player out there on the floor, you know, so it, it, it is frustrating. Um, and you can't use the excuse where you're bigger than everybody. Guys are taller than me and all that. Like, that's just an excuse. You know, they got to stop at some point.